Hi friends, today I'm going to talk about Maulana Masood Azhar. He is a dreaded terrorist who heads the Jaish A Muhammad terrorist organization. Maulana Masood Azhar was born in Bahawalpur in 1968 to a headmaster of a government school. Maulana Masood went to the infamous Binori Mosque and Seminary in Karachi, which had produced many militants for Afghan Jihad. Maulana Masood joined Harkat al Mujahideen at Binori, a militant group with close ties to Al Qaeda and ISI. By the time he graduated from Binori, Afghan Jihad was over. Nonetheless, he went to Afghanistan to train for jihad in a training camp. He failed to clear the mandatory 40 days training due to being physically weak. After having failed the terrorist training in the camps in Afghanistan, Masood started to publish a monthly magazine for uh, Harkatul Mujahideen promoting its activities thanks to his literary skills. He traveled far and wide preaching jihad and collecting funds which included places like Darul Ulum Bari in London. Many of the British who identified themselves to be liberal Muslims today were the hosts to Masood Azhar when he was visiting London in the early 1990s. Dhiren Bharat, a Hindu convert to Islam when he was just 20, born to Gujarati parents, uh, was an Al-Qaeda terrorist himself, was so inspired by Maulana Masood that he compared him with Abdullah Azam, the ideological father of Al-Qaeda. The ISI found Masood as a useful go-between in controlling different terrorist organizations because he was much respected by different terror outfits. In 1994, Maulana Masood came to India via Bangladesh using a stolen Portuguese pass passport which he acquired in Britain. He was sent by ISI to restore order among different terrorist organizations fighting Indian rule in Kashmir so that ISI could control them more efficiently. Within a month of arriving in India, Maulana Masood was arrested by Indian security forces where he languished until he was released in 1999 to secure the release of the passengers of the hijacked Indian plane IC-814. Masood had failed three attempts to flee from Indian jails, but eventually he got lucky in 1999. After the release, he went on to create the dreaded jaish e Muhammad with the blessings of ISI. Subscribe my channel if you have liked the post. I will continue to post more.